Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the stage. Dude, it's so sticky over here. You better stay away. And we're playing Madden 20. Oh, it's so good. The Kansas City Chiefs were Detroit Lions. Yeah, we're doing it, the Chiefs. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> wow. You're <laughs> piping up the opponent. We're not the Lions. <laughs> yeah, well, we're going to put them in their place. Dutch Jonas. Man. Yes. FBI is after you. Is it? The DEA, they know where you are. And they're coming here and they're going to lock you up for the rest of your life. The crimes you've committed are unlike those ever known before in mankind. You have to run. You got to go somewhere. Where do you go? This is Madden 20. Well, I can't put it on the video because then it wouldn't work if it Jones, happened. Jones, it's never going to happen. You're a law abiding citizen. I know this I am. Is, is a hypothetical. Where do you go? Uh. You got to get out of you got to get out of here, Joe. <laughs> you know what my first take was? What? Can I ask you some stipulations? I already knew you <laughs> son of a Cuz it's dependent. See, bro. I never I never do this to you. <laughs> Whenever you're like fucking dynamite. I'm over here playing Monster Hunter concentrating on every motion. <laughs> Trying to hit the monster in the head, soften up body parts, make sure I am chopping off tails and rolling out of the way. I'm doing the same thing. And I never say, well, you know what? Hold on, Jonas. <laughs> Are we talking about beef hot dogs, pork hot dogs, or beef chicken and, and, and pork? I would answer those questions because I get it. I, but I wouldn't. <laughs> We're gonna get into the, get into the ish. Where are you going? Uh, There's no time to I think. Would... There's no stipulations. You gotta go. Get uh, out of here. Uh, I would head to Mexico because we're in Texas. Because it's probably easiest to get across the border somewhere. <laughs> this this motherfucker this eats <laughs> a picadillo one time. <laughs> <laughs> he eats picadillo. He goes to one salsa class. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he thinks. <laughs> He's just gonna be good in Mexico, huh? All right, that's where you going, huh? right? But if you're in the states, they're gonna hunt you down. It's harder to get into Canada than it is to get into Mexico. You can't sneak into Canada as easy. I mean, you ain't really sneaking into Mexico. Oh, no, you could find. You think it's easy to get into Mexico? Don't they say there's an issue with people sneaking into the U.S.? It that goes both ways. Whoa. I never thought about that. <laughs> I wonder why. I mean, I guess Canada probably puts enough capital into their border protection, maybe. I, and Whereas that's what Mexico, I was it's also like doesn't. colder up there and stuff. So if, depending what time of year it is, if it's winter, I ain't trying to like walk through the wilderness to get to Canada. Yeah. But but I can drive near the border in Texas and find a way across somewhere. Yeah, but Canada would be nicer to sneak it. Oh, I agree a thousand percent. Don't don't get me. It wasn't prefer. That's why I said it. It's bit, there's, there's variables. Like no, there's those variables you got to think of right now. Right, okay, well, so right, you're going to Mexico. What are you going to do in Mexico? That's the thing. Like you realize, oh god, they're on their way. You don't. You only have enough time to grab like a couple things and get out the door. Like that's it. Yeah, like, exactly. All right, so you're going to Mexico. Where you where, what are you doing in Mexico? That of the fear. more importantly is not getting caught because it doesn't yeah. matter what your plan is right. if you get caught. So fair, fair. Like I mean, I would probably just like Take try to find someone that spoke English because yeah. I don't speak Spanish. Uh, I would. I mean, I, I speak some, uh, and I would try to like just basically find a place to live and get some sort of work, man. Like even if it was like uh, working out, like I would try to do something. You gotta work, no? You gotta lay low. You need money. The you other got, variables, do I have money? Can you I, can you got I, a little bit right now. You got you got to empty your bank account. You can't. Then they know where you're going, man. They, wa they Oh, you got to empty it right away. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> what, are you going to go down to Mexico and start swiping your visa? <laughs> no. Carry your cell phone with you. Call yeah, mom. Oh, yeah. All those all <laughs> great ideas. <laughs> I just saw a story about a guy who uh, he uh, escaped from prison. And he was found 10 miles away getting fast food because it was like some place where like the cops got like a discount too. <laughs> He's like, I really want some rallies. <laughs> <laughs> right? And I was just like, what the hell are you doing? 
He got out and he was really hungry. <laughs> and that's what he decided to do is get something to eat. Right. Not not save yourself. Yeah, right, right. And you're like you're only ten they set up like a, a like a monitor for lo- wide, wide like fifty miles. You yeah. don't even get outside the <laughs> the search radius and then eat <laughs> that's some the food. Thing. That's it's the like, thing. oh my god, dude. Like, like yeah, you're gonna be hungry for the first couple of days because I'm running, dude. Right, exactly. If I can't get a ride, I'm running in right, a direction. Dude. And then you're like, you're gonna run into like seven eleven and get a cliff bar while you go pee and then get get on the road, dude. Like, I don't know where you're gonna get the money from, but yeah, you got a point. I mean this, dude, you know, okay. Shoplift. Like, okay, one. like say you had to be on the run, right? In like not like in a criminal sense. But like for some reason you couldn't you like you had no money and you had to like get across the country or whatever. Like I'm fine I with feel the like if like that's in that situation like I need to go to Seven Eleven I need a Cliff Bar. I feel like if like I would do whatever it took. Like I would like go in and be like, hey, <laughs> I I don't have any money. If I like mop the floor, will you buy me a Cliff Bar? Jonas, are you trying to? What are you you trying to get caught? <laughs> not on a criminal. I said not in a criminal sense. What on what? Why would I be on the run if it's not in the criminal sense? Who's coming against me? Freddy Krueger, freaking Jason? What? Then I no, I don't want a Cliff Bar. I can't eat when I'm scared. All right. <laughs> Who's chasing me? It's the only way it works if it's a criminal. That's true. <laughs> yeah, hey, what? The, the homosexuals are coming to take my cookie. Oh wow! What? I don't know. Cause I, w- I mean, I would run. <laughs> I, would, <laughs> I would run. I would. I love, I love my. I love cookies. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I feel like running to Mexico is probably a good step one. But like I said, you got to empty your bank account. Right. First thing you got to do, empty your bank account, run to Mexico. And then you got to look into getting a plane out of Mexico. To where? Right now, Corona's everywhere. Where am I going to go? Who cares? If anything's better than being in jail, do you know how prison Corona is? <laughs> That's probably but worse. You know why else Mexico would be a better place to go than Canada? Our money goes farther there, too. So, like, even yeah. if you can't find work, yeah. you, our, our money is worth more in Mexico. So, like, we we gain that is a good point. financial security. You go, to, you go to Mexico and you go to up to a guy and you're like, I'm looking for a plane to J- Japan. Right, okay. I need to fly to Japan. A thousand dollars American. He'll take you anywhere you want to go. <laughs> Will he? I feel like he would. A thousand dollars American? Yeah, you can just hop on. Top in. Yeah, but he has to pay for fuel and stuff, dude. I mean, like, I'm not trying to say like you're just like walking up to guys standing by their planes like <laughs> on their cell phones. Like, like hey, dude, plane, can I get a plane ride? taxi? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you find a guy who's already going to Japan. Oh, I see what you mean. Like, you can just, I hide in your luggage compartment sort of situation? Yeah. For $1,000 American, let me ride up front, fam. No, I'm sorry. Go <laughs> pilot. Teach me how to pilot on the way. No, I, just, I mean, I I'm not gonna understand what an aviator is in Espanol, but I got a- you. La Lirion. Yeah, but that's probably where I would go. I don't know. I don't you have to just, think about you it. Just I don't plan on that happening. You were just chilling in Mexico for the rest of your life. Probably, yeah. See, I just don't want to stay there, though. Yeah, but it might be cool. You got to go to the areas that aren't like, dude. Okay, Mexico gets a bad rap. Like I'm some not air- saying that Mexico is bad. I'm just saying that there's better places. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, eventually I probably would, but I would probably at least try to like get some sort of like settled down. Like, I would look up once I got to Mexico. I'd figure out where it doesn't have extradition to the U.S. Because if, if I did get caught, mm. they wouldn't send me home. Mm. So that would limit my places, but I'm ignorant right now to that of the fact of who does that. See, I feel like like the two places that are directly north and south of the place where uh, they want me to be extradited, uh, I feel like those would be the worst places because I feel like America has a very strong presence in Canada and Mexico. Oh, absolutely. As, I'm sure we have extradition with that. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure. So I would, like I said, man, I feel like Australia would be great if you don't want to learn a different language uh 
the UK would be great. Scotland would be great if yeah. you don't want to learn a different language. Yeah, because at least we have the, yeah. Switzerland would be amazing. Yeah, because yeah, we have the the luxury of like we speak English. So there's a lot of countries that speak English that mm-hmm. even if it isn't like their main language, they speak a form of English or something. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Uh, uh, makes sense. So uh, yeah, but I I don't know. You got you got to get a, you got to get out of the continent. You got to get to another place. It's like, first you got to get out of the state, then you got to get out of the country, then you got to get out of the continent. Yeah. If you're running from the feds. It's different if you're running from, like, Ashtabula PD. Yeah. Or if you're running from the U.S. government. (laughs) Like, there's two... Ashtabula PD. (laughs) There's two... (laughs) You could go to Walmart and escape them. (laughs) They'd never find you. (laughs) There's there's, there's a huge difference on who... The the resources that are coming after you. Like, you know... (laughs) <laughs> yeah, but no, they're, they're, I said FBI, they're coming after you, they need you, need you right now. Yeah, yep. But uh, yeah, so yeah, I, I would say go to Mexico, maybe, if you're going to do that, go to Mexico, continue heading south. Well, yeah, because, well, especially from in Texas, we're only five hours from the Mexican border, like, we're not far. That's true. Yeah, like, that. that's kind of the whole reason. If we were, like, in Ohio, I wouldn't be like, go to Mexico, I'd be like, go to Canada, because we could drive three hours to Canada through Buffalo, you know? Wow. Why I'm, did you do that on purpose? You got some scheming? You got a It's plan? just logistics, bro. Like you got it's a plan like, brewing? It, no. <laughs> I'm just trying to say was this whole moving to Texas was this a greater scheme? Yes. My plan to move to Texas 7 years ago was that <laughs> in so many years in the future I could easily escape to Mexico. You're behind coronavirus, aren't you? No. Okay. <laughs> You're not going to take that. Nope. One? I'm not taking that one, not even jokingly. <laughs> I'm in no way associated with anything to do with that. <laughs> it is crazy because they would bring this up in court. Yeah, right. they would watch every single video we we ever put out. <laughs> like maybe he, maybe he said he. He's gonna be like, uh, Mr. Jonas, did you not on <laughs> <laughs> on episode nine hundred and seventy four of Madden <laughs> on episode <laughs> say in a matter of fact that you were behind. <laughs> I was like, and I literally said it was a joke, but you said it out loud. Yes? (laughs) Do you want to play it for the courtroom? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, Dynamite. I did (laughs) COVID-19. Right. Saw me. You got me. (laughs) Right. Like, there it is. Open and shut. (laughs) That's all it takes. That's all it takes. It's so true. That's all it takes. (laughs) Uh, what was that movie that just came out where the guy, like, Brad Pitt made him admit to doing a crime? Oh, I don't know. It was like Sully or something, but it wasn't that. It was the other guy's name. It was oh, guy. I got you. But uh, uh, it was something about a bombing or something. It was a terroristic thing, and, like, the cops got him there. It was like, uh, all we need for you to do is just uh, say that you did it. He was like, but I didn't do it. He was like, I know, but we just want you to say it. We're going to record it, and then we're going to compare it to the guy who did admit it. And then, you know, and, we'll, and we just want to make sure. And he was, and he did it. And he, like, they were like, no, now act like he would act when he said it. And he, like, started putting some emphasis in his oh, voice. Yeah, like, yeah, I did it. And he said his name and everything. And then the cops were like, yeah, we found the guy. And he was like, but I didn't do it. And there was a whole movie about it. I can't remember the yeah. name of it. Well, I mean, there was a whole Netflix series that I watched some of. There was just, I think you watched some of it with me. Or you walked out here like, what's this? Oh, or just people that yeah, confessed yeah, yeah. to crimes they didn't do. Yo. And it was like lots of people. And like, because they're just like, I just wanted to go home. And they told me that I could go home if I said I did it. No. And I was like, well, <laughs> excuse me? How do you ever? And like, and you know, it's like, you can think that you would never do that. But like, the interrogation is meant to beat you down. It's like, but I like, I just don't. And you wonder why there's a level of distrust with law enforcement. Right, exactly. <laughs> right. Exactly. Imagine that. Right, yeah. <laughs> just, I, I just couldn't imagine. But here's my thing. Like, you, you have a, a right for an attorney. So, like, if they, if you, like, are saying, I want an attorney, I want an attorney, I want an attorney, even if they're, like, recording you and try to keep it in secret, if, but you're literally making a point to say, like, if I asked for an attorney and they told me no just because they were trying to be doing a legal ish, I would just keep saying I wanted an attorney and never let them record anything. Be, or not talk at all. Let them beat the crap out of me because then, then there's, if that's what they had to resort to, then there's, like, physical proof that they had, you know, it's like, just shut your effing mouth, dude. Just gotta, don't say anything. You gonna take that L, Jonas? You think you can handle torture? 
I don't know. <laughs> but, like, I'm not going to admit to doing a crime and getting put in jail. Yeah. It's like. Facts. Like, but, he, but here's the thing. It's like people, you know, I, I'm not a guy who's like, oh, the cops are shady. Like, I don't have, like, they have a job to do. Hopefully they do it in the, the right professional way. Yeah. You know. But, like, if I ever got brought in, whether I did it or not, I would be like, I didn't do it. And then that would be about all I would say other than I want an attorney. And then I would shut my mouth and not say an effing word. No, I don't know. if I See, now I can already see you. Or I would they just pull you in and you'd be like, no, dude, because I was over here. You can call this person. You'd be like, no, I was doing this. I was nowhere near the, uh, the hospital when it blew up. I was... Well, I guess if I didn't do it, I would be... Yeah, but, like, I wouldn't... Like, yeah, I would give them all the ways to prove I wasn't there, but, like, I wouldn't even start... Take... What's, uh, what's the word when you kind of, like, go along with? I can't think of the word right now. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't even let them put that in my head. Like, you know what I mean? Like, uh -oh. once they start saying, like, oh, yeah, but I'm like... Uh, no. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, I wasn't there. <laughs> like... <laughs> I mean, I get you, man, but I, I don't think you, I feel like if you just go in there and you're like, I'm not saying anything, give me an attorney. That makes you look yeah, like, guilty you know as hell. But like, here, oh, here's the go. thing. Here's how I think people fall into those traps. You start talking. You start saying you didn't do it. You start feeling comfortable. Then they can easily trick you into starting to, like, <laughs> double talk yourself and things like that. Wow. It's better to just be quiet and not say anything because you can't stumble over your own words later because they're recording everything. <laughs> so it's better than like accidentally screwing yourself over. It's just to sit there and just be like, I'm good, man. I'm not going to talk. <laughs> you know what, Jones? I was just thinking of a funny, a, a, a really good prank I could play on you. Oh, God. Is that on my cell phone, I take a video of myself saying, I think my roommate's trying to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> It's like if if I die in the next couple of days, I swear yeah, it was him, and I can just like like really ham it up for the camera, yeah, right, right. and then I can hang myself. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> that would be the best prank. <laughs> Holy shit, that's dark as fun, dude. <laughs> you be so screwed, dude. <laughs> right. <laughs> I would think hanging yourself is probably not the way to make it look like a murder, though. <laughs> yeah, man, you still getting taken in. They'll be like, so why would you record this? you be like, oh, dude, it was a prank. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> Sorry, I know. I know that was dark. I know that was dark, and I do not advocate suicide. <laughs> completely joking. Wow. <laughs> This, this is why I can never reveal my identity. <laughs> God, <dang. laughs> All right, f you, Joe. I thought that was good. It might be. <laughs> you do it. You do it. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> you do you. You do what you want to do, dude. I don't know if you saying recording a scared video on your phone is enough to indict me. <laughs> I don't know. It would be it would be trouble for me. For see, sure. and that's the thing. It's just a prank. I'm not actually trying to get you sent to jail. I'm just trying to hold you up a little bit that's a, that's in your a, moment of grieving. That's a very uh, dedicated prank. <laughs> <laughs> Some artists don't use paintbrushes. You're out like burn, got you. <laughs> yeah. Some artists don't need a paintbrush. Yeah, I, <laughs> I paint. I paint with my words and yeah, my exactly. actions. I guess. Whew. Man, that was that went down. <laughs> but yes, I would just stay quiet. I would be. I would see. And here's the thing: I would be respectful. I wouldn't be ugly and rude. But I'm not gonna talk myself into circles, man. I'm not gonna talk. Yeah. You know, like that's what they try to do is talk yeah. you in circles. So yeah, if that if okay that case happens, I could see you staying quiet. I could be like, I didn't do it. I would. I don't know why he would do that. I didn't do it. I don't know why he would do that. Right. Right. Can yeah. I get an attorney? Can I get it? Yeah, because you need one. You right. need right. one. Exactly. Just, like, you're going to need one. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this, yeah. this dynamite ribbon, you Right. Y'all want to talk about the weather? I'm in. But as far as this goes, I didn't do it. I don't know why he did it. Can I have an attorney? Oh, so, what do you guys think about the weather this weekend? <laughs> yes. And what what's the thing you're always supposed to say? Uh... 
Am I being detained? If so, why? Oh, am I being detained? <laughs> or, like, or can I go? Or am I free to leave? Yeah. Because they can't hold you unless they're gonna um mm -hmm. unless they're gonna like charge you with something. Yep. And if you're being detained, why am I being detained? Right. Yeah. Exactly. It, well, yeah, because they can keep you there for so long, but you can also, yeah, if you're not being detained, they, I think they have to let you go. This too. is some ish they need to teach in school, Jonas. They really do. They really do. They need to teach kids how to interact with police officers. Well, yeah, because... And your rights as an American citizen. Yeah. They need to teach you how to buy property. They need yeah. to teach you... <laughs> like, yeah, like, just, like, like adulting class, basically. Yeah, home like, action. Here's how you deal with that. law enforcement. Here's how you handle an emergency. Here's how you file your taxes. Here's how you buy property. Here's how you. Like, yeah, and it's not even that far from like what they've tried to do in the past. Home economics essentially was that it was teaching you how to take care of a home, but it needs to be broader now that we are so much more than just staying in right. the home. Like, anymore. or even just teach like basic internet security. Like, hey. Don't do this. Hey, this is all, you know, like just basics of life that young kids may not be getting from their parents. It's a lot, man. It's a lot, man. But, you know, I think that parents nowadays, or at least the, you know, the boomer parents, not the boomer parents, but the uh, millennial parents are going to be a little bit more in tune with that. Yeah, people who, yeah, I think so. Probably. Yeah, I think so. Ooh, millennials are going to start having kids, man. Yeah, they are. The Zoomers are going to be the new teens, dude. We're the new boomers, boy. Or you are, at least. I'm still a millennial. Maybe I should have I'm some I'm a millennial, kids. too, remember? <laughs> they, they grandfathered me in, no pun intended. I mean, <laughs> they, you, got, you got a millennial. like You're like a late-stage millennial. Dude, you, whatever. Now that they added they, a year, now you're... They now add, yeah, now, yeah, now, now, you, I was, I've been here since the game started. Millennial Jackson over you here. You walk in in the third <laughs> quarter of millennial. And be like, hey guys, they, they, they said I can get in now. Oh no! <laughs> like, dude, who, who let this guy in? <laughs> <laughs> really true, though. <laughs> who let this exactly guy what it guy is? In. Oh goodness! <laughs> all right, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Call your mama. But for Jonas, TNT Dynamite. Uh, we. Oh. Oh.